Hi there, it's Dr. Jen. You asked and I answered. Today, we're going to be talking about the RGCC test. So first, let's talk about what that stands for. It's the Research Genetics Cancer Center. And what the RGCC test does is it is initially a circulating tumor cell test. So it will take a sample of blood, a small vial of blood, and look at it um, using uh, G DNA analysis to find circulating tumor cells. And if circulating tumor cells are found, then it looks at a number of genetic characteristics that describe the tumor cell. And in doing that, it can identify the tumor cell's origin, but more importantly, it can identify characteristics that help to predict that tumor's behavior. And based on the amount of circulating tumor cells you have in this, in this sample, in this vial of blood, we can basically predict the likelihood of relapse, of recurrence. Uh, of whether or not there is metastatic tumor burden at, at this current time. The most important part of this test and what differentiates it from the other circulating tumor cell tests is that once we are able to isolate the cancer cells and look at their characteristics, we can also help to determine sensitivities what will help to get rid of those cancer cells and promote your health. And another unique perspective is that not only does it look at typical chemotherapeutic agents, common chemotherapeutic agents that are used to treat cancers in a conventional medical environment, but it also tests for natural substances. It tests for things like turmeric and uh, ginger and quercetin and, and things that we, common, vitamin C, ascorbic acid, things that we commonly use as supplements, as food, as nutrients. And we, use, we utilize that information to help create a plan and we always preferentially use the natural agents first because the natural agents in general are going to both be anti-cancer in their behavior, but also help promote health at the same time. So we like to approach the patient in the way that we can be the most anti-cancer and anti-inflammatory while promoting the health of the person. And so I have found the RGCC test to be tremendously advantageous in both treating cancer primarily, treating cancer in the metastatic situation and preventing recurrence. Uh, and I've used it at every stage along the cancer journey and it is tremendously helpful. The other possibility that comes out of using the RGCC is that you can create an immune profile for the tumor and actually create an antibody infusion based on the immune profile of the tumor. So there are so many ways to develop and coordinate a treatment plan while using the RGCC and all the information that it provides. So I am highly in favor of using this test. I have found it to be tremendously advantageous um, for primary treatment, for treatment of metastatic disease and for prevention of recurrence. And I also use it to follow people and ensure that they continue to go in the right direction. It can also be useful uh, when used every year to just ensure that that cancer population isn't resurging. So they have a list of providers on their website. You can check it out for more information, but that was a brief introduction into the RGCC, the Research Genetics Cancer Center. It's Dr. Jen. Bye for now.